In the mid-1900s, doctors diagnosed many diseases by injecting special dye into the blood vessels and taking moving x-rays. Most patients went on to have surgery, as there were no alternatives. Then one day, Dr. Charles Dodder had a very big idea, and it changed everything. Dodder had the radical notion that he could do more than just see the problem. Once inside the body, he could fix it. And in 1964, he did just that. An elderly woman named Laura Shaw was at risk of losing her leg, but she stubbornly refused surgery at all costs. At his wit's end, her surgeon sent Mrs. Shaw to Dr. Dodder and asked him to do whatever he could to help her. Dodder entered the artery in her leg through a pinhole, then injected dye into the blood to reveal her leg vessels under x-rays. He discovered an artery in her mid-thigh that was so tightly blocked that no blood could reach her calf and foot. Dodder's next step was truly revolutionary. He eased a wire across the blockage, then slid a plastic tube over the wire to expand the blocked artery. It worked. He opened the channel, allowing the blood to rush in and save her starved leg. Days later, Laura Shaw left the hospital on her own two feet. A revolution in medicine had begun. Dr. Charles Dodder had every reason to be elated. By applying a bit of know-how straight out of the plumber's manual, he had just spared his patient the necessity of losing a leg. Charles Dodder was a great innovator. He just saw into the future the way other people didn't. He had a catheter in and thought, well, gee, if the catheter's in, I could probably fix something. He passed it through that blockage and then pulled everything out, and voila, there was better flow. And that was a revolution. I'm gonna put this thing through the artery that's blocked, and it's not gonna be ruined. And the patient's not gonna lose their leg. They're actually gonna get better. That whole idea was what started all of the minimally invasive procedures. Can you do that to an artery and, and, and have the artery function? Can we do this without cutting somebody open? And the answer was yes. <laughs>